Alright, I'm going to show you guys how to take a design asset that you receive from a designer and use Flash Catalyst to make it into a component or component skin to use in your Flex applications. So, I have these design assets here. There are buttons, scroll bars, progress bars, checkboxes, radio buttons, everything that a uh, developer couldn't want without having to uh, design all these themselves. So if you want these assets, I'll post a link in the comments, but it was five bucks for all these uh, from this designer here. So I'll link you to that in the comments if you want it uh, yourself, but you get four different collards and they come in Photoshop PSD files and you'll need Photoshop to work with these because they use vector masks and uh, things like Pixelmator and other things don't work well with vector masks so what we need is we are going to make this checkbox here with ticked and hover and disable states for, your fle for a new flex checkbox skin so we need to identify the uh, group that these are in here and we can see that there's this checkbox group so we'll right click on that hit duplicate group we want to duplicate it into a new uh, document we'll hit OK and this gives us a new document with just these checkboxes in it so let's go ahead and open up this layer and I don't know if you can see it but there's just a thing that says checkbox we'll go ahead and delete that and let's crop this to make this easier to work with okay so now that we have this cropped oops we need to align these things and remove different parts that we don't need so under ticked, disabled, and hovered, they each have labels. We can go ahead and remove all these labels because we only need the unticked label for our component. So now that we have that, we need to stack these on top of each other. So the unticked is going to be our base. So we'll click unticked and ticked. And if you're on your move tool, you have these alignment tools up here we can go ahead and just hit align the top and if you look at this it really doesn't look like it aligned very well so um, we may want to just click this tick and use our arrow keys until we get this to an alignment that we like so that looks pretty good to me so now let's work on the other ones so we'll do unticked and disabled we'll align left and that one looked like it stacked pretty good if we want to see better we'll take off the visibility of the tick label and that does look good so last one is hovered we need to align left and top on this one and that looks pretty good as well so let's go ahead and save this to our desktop as checkbox PSD and let's close out of Photoshop don't save Photoshop quit and let's jump into Flash Catalyst alright so now that we're in Flash Catalyst we want to create a new project from a design file and Photoshop PSD let's go to my desktop and click this checkbox PSD we'll hit open we want to uncheck resizable, take our background color to something dark because that's what our asset works with and we'll go ahead and hit OK. So let's zoom in a little on this and we can see we have our assets in here and in our layers box over to our right we can just hit checkbox and it will select everything under it 
we want to choose component and we'll say checkbox and we'll just call this a blue checkbox hit OK and now this creates a component so now we need to edit the states of this component so we'll hit any one of these it doesn't matter and up at the top you can see the different states we have up over down and then the selected states of the same first thing we want to do is click this text here and actually we want to move this text layer out from under the unticked and just under checkboxes so this is more of a global layer and with that layer still selected we want to convert to checkbox part and this is a label so now when we're in flash builder we can add whatever label text we want and it will just work so now we need to uh, stylize our up state so we need to unselect every one of these except the unticked and this will be our up state now we need an over state which is we just want the hover layer visible and then our down state is the ticked layer visible uh, there is also a disabled state which we do have this so let's go ahead and make that disabled and for our label we may want to um, do some blending we can do a blend mode and hit multiply um, that won't work maybe soft light alright so that looks good so now in selected up we need just the ticked visible selected over we're gonna stay ticked instead of doing a hover it will just look better and selected down let's do unticked alright and selected disabled we can have that and inside our ticked we can select this and do a blending mode a multiply to kinda get it uh, darker to show that it's disabled. Alright, so now that we have that, let's go ahead and run this and see how it looks. Alright, so we have this. If we hover over it, we see our hover effect. If we press down, there's our selected. Press down again and unselected, and we have our hover back so that looks pretty good so let's go ahead and export this to flash builder so we click our project library and we have this button right here and the tooltip is export library to fxpl we'll click that and go to our desktop and save it as checkbox fxpl we'll hit save and we'll minimize this and go into Flash Builder now. So now that we're in Flash Builder, I already have a regular checkbox in this project. If we run it, we can see that it's just the basic checkbox, nothing special. So let's stop that and go into our Package Explorer and we'll hit, we'll right click in it and hit Import. We want Flash Builder project. We'll be importing a file, and on our desktop, it's the checkbox FXPL. We'll open it. We'll make it a new project. So we'll import that, and you'll see this new project in here. So if we open this up under source, we have our component. If we want to make any edits in Flash Builder, we can. And uh, if you look in the bin folder, we have a SWIC. So now to add our library to our existing project, now we want this new checkbox skin in, we'll right click on our project and hit properties. Uh, we could add SWIC and find that bin folder, but since we've imported this as its separate project, we'll just hit add project and we can select our library project there 
and hit OK. And now let's go into our code and all we have to do is just add a skin class to our checkbox. So we do skin class and code completion already sees it. We named it blue checkbox. We'll hit OK, save this and run it. And we have our custom label. We have the hover over effect and our checked effect.